Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann, and today we are checking out Raiden 3 X Monado Mania X. I'm just going to guess that that's the name. We're also checking out Raiden 4, and there's a very specific reason why. So Raiden 3 Mikado Mania releases in like a day, okay? And when I was gathering up the trailers to talk about Raiden 3, I was finding trailers for Raiden 4. And I was like, man, Raiden 4? You're, you're gonna, like, okay, you've already started advertising Raiden 4 when Raiden 3 isn't out yet? Wrong! Raiden 4 is already out! It released months ago! Literally months ago! And the difference is, is that we ha this is Raiden 3 Mikado Mania, and then the Raiden 4 is Raiden 4 Mikado Remix, not Mikado Mania. Don't know what the difference is, Probably slightly different versions with like slightly different like content or levels. We're gonna go ahead and check out both. None of this is very long, and I figure you might want to see the two options of what's available, both the the one that's gonna be out in a day and the one that's been out for a couple of months. No, not Makoto from Persona. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let's uh let's get started. After 18 years, Raiden strikes once again. Take your shot before you get got. No, no, the classic shooter returns. Raiden 3. Mikado Mania. Don't worry, there's gameplay. <laughs> The next game from another special collaboration is... Is that Hatsune Miku? With new guests in an all-star lineup! I have no idea who those people are, but that's cool. Oh, it's the artists. There's the game. How am I supposed to play the game if I, if I can't look at the screen? Lightning strikes thrice. This was such an extra trailer. I can see some games do that just to advertise the sequel and they're not even finished with the older ones. I feel like that's a bad idea. Here's the gameplay trailer. Like, they're not even done with Final Fantasy XIV, they're releasing at 60. Can you even believe it? That's hilarious. But no. Bullet Hells are a lot of fun, but I always feel like I am terrible at them. If this has online co-op, that's sick. Just because it has an online leaderboard does not mean it has online co-op, though. You know it won't. That would cost money. That would cost development hours. Pixel bullet hells, Eve. Is that where you're talking? Like your ship is actually your ship's hitbox is actually only one pixel, even though it has a a full model. So sometimes you are like dodging through itty bitty little spaces where like your cockpit is. Because I know what you're talking about, and those are just insufferable. Okay, this is for Raiden Four now. I don't know if there'll be any discernible difference.
Rated Mark II. Fighter Thunder ME2. Fairy. Are these the ships? Blast your way through five different game modes. I'm guessing so. <laughs> Lightning Strikes fourth. Fourth. Is, uh... Heavy Metal Raiden. You know, this makes me wonder, though. I realize that they have slightly different naming conventions and stuff, but it makes me wonder if Raiden 4 got... Real, like, if there wasn't a version of Raiden 3 that was out before this one. Are these the same trailer? These are the same trailer. I must have clicked on that one twice. You can't beat Japanese game trailers that go through the menu. Hey, they want to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting, okay? I'll take it over just purely cinematic trailers any day. So here's the thing, right? I remember playing Raiden. I liked Raiden. But... What did I even... I played Raiden on an arcade, of course. But I also think I played it on, like, the... Sega Genesis? I think it was the Sega Genesis. Or at least it was something along the lines of Raiden, right? I don't know. I don't remember. That was years ago. I played some sort of bullet hell where you fly up from the bottom of the screen. Anyway, and back then, when I was just a wee lad, I did not have as good of a concept of money as I do today, okay? I don't know what it cost for me to play Raiden as a child when I was like six. I have no idea. Hell, it might have even been the original Nintendo. I do not remember anymore. But I know that this new Raiden game is $30. And, like, compared to the $70 games that are coming out today, I'm like, yeah, you know, that's better. But am I willing to pay $30 to play Raiden when there's probably a version of Raiden in some, like, Sega Arcade Classics collection? Shit, I own Sega Arcade Classics on Steam. It might be in there. I don't actually know. It wasn't Galaga. I know for a fact it wasn't Galaga. This is the launch trailer. Raiden 3 was 2005. Raiden 4 was 2007. No, it was definitely like Raiden. Because you were, like, flying forward over a city and having to, like... It definitely wasn't Galaga. It was like... like it, it, was, it was closer to, like, what we're seeing here. But... I bet you can even get some free Flash games to play it. 1942? What? What? Like, I understand there's still costs with making this game, but at the same time, I'm like, hmm, $30. $30. Is, is, this, is this $30 worthy? I don't know. I don't know. It is cool to see, though, and it is cool to see that they're still, like, doing something with this particular formula, because, and Eve, you mentioned the other, one of the other ones. Uh, what is it? Toho? Is that what you said? I, I've, I know that that is also a bullet hell, but I have not ever played any of them. I've heard that they're really good ones. There was also the one that was really, really popular for a while that I cannot think of its name that... Instead of having to dodge all of the bullets, the bullets, there was orange bullets and blue bullets, and you had to switch to that color shield, and then if you were the same color as the bullets, then the bullets didn't hurt you. That one was really, really popular for a while, because it had some insane uh, levels on the higher difficulty end. That's Ikaruga. Thanks, Napalm. I I've seen, I've probably seen the most Ikaruga in terms of people 
sharing it today compared to Raiden or even Toho. The only thing I ever hear people talk about with Toho is its music, which I understand because it's got some really damn good music. But in terms of actual playing, Ikaruga is the only one that I see anyone actually talking about. But so there's Raiden 3 and Raiden 4, if it fits your fancy. Something had to release, because right now everyone is only playing Diablo and Street Fighter 6. So they're like, I don't know, what do we release? I don't know, shove out something that's not going to make a whole lot of money right out of the gate that we're, we're hoping will just make us money in the long term. Sure, Raiden, here you go. I can't justify 30 bucks for two old ass games with new music. No, 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 there you go. You got it in there, $30 each, yeah. Uh, and, it, you know, if it, I wish I knew if it had online co-op. Like you said, Napalm, it probably doesn't. Because if it had online co-op, I could probably justify it. I got a friend that I know would enjoy one of, like, these style games. I know real well that he would be into it. And to be like, all right, we're just going to spend this weekend playing the shit out of Raiden. I could, I could invest $30 in that and not be upset to have a really good time with a friend of mine that's across the planet, right? But if it doesn't have that, then I'm not even going to consider it for a moment. Because you can sell nostalgia pretty well, but I don't... Th this, this isn't a complex enough experience or a revitalized enough experience to make me feel like you are selling me a new experience. You're just reselling me something with slightly new paint on it. So, I bet you could do co-op in name for... Mame? Is that, li is that like a... Uh, what is that called? Um, whatever that service is that people use to like do couch co-op from far away, but I don't remember what it's called now. It doesn't matter. Hamachi, bro, Eve, don't make me feel that old. People don't use Hamachi anymore. <laughs> they use, uh, oh, crap. What is it called? I was going to move on from it, but now we're trying to figure out what it, it doesn't matter. Parsec. There we go. I knew if I just went to begin to look it up, I would remember. Everyone just uses Parsec now. Hamachi. <laughs> Gross. That's disgusting. Yeah, everyone just uses Parsec now. It works just like Hamachi does. Not exactly. I mean, in terms of how it functions, it functions the same. But it's a much friendlier interface. Much, much friendlier interface. Hamachi ran like garbage. I'm amazed it worked at all. Anyway, not important. Closing out the video now. Let me know what your thoughts are, everybody, on Raiden 3 and four are you willing to pay thirty dollars to be sold a prettier form of what seems like really to be the exact same game that didn't feel like the revolution of raiden or ikaruga or toho in any way it didn't feel like it was showing us anything new but i also don't think that you could really do anything new with the bullet hell genre and formula but let me know down in the comments below if you want to keep uh, the conversation going elsewhere two great places to do so are discord and twitter if you can't tell i like to talk and i'd love to talk some more if you want to talk with me this Video was recorded live on stream because we do stream on Twitch, and I would love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you do watch one of the other videos on the channel, or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy.